Hey, if you're new, I go by Re. And while you're here, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you be a part of our community. And if you're a returning subscriber, please meet me in the comments just to say hello. And if you're not a person of many words, I always say, leave me a heart emoji or some type of emoji to let me know that you are enjoying the consistent uploads and give me a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. <laughs> Guys, we are doing hair today. We're gonna see how this little beauty stands up to the Dyson. It comes with this pick attachment, which I already have on, and it comes with a diffuser for those of you who want to rock your curls natural, which I never do. It comes with a thermal concentrator, sleek and shiny. I guess it's supposed to make your hair sleek and shiny. I probably won't use this. I've never heard of this before. And it also comes with a concentrator that is to smooth and straighten your hair. I stick to the comb attachment or the pick attachment as some may refer to it as. So let's go ahead without further ado and get into this blow dryer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning off my hair and applying the product. I just washed my hair gonna link this down below y'all this is if you don't have this little spray bottle it's from Amazon it will give you a continuous mist isn't that cool <laughs> all right let's go ahead and I'm gonna apply all of my hair care products I will link I've done videos before where I talk about my hair care products I'm going to probably just make a separate video but I'll link these down below and then I'll probably do an updated hair care video so if you're interested be sure to subscribe to the channel but I will do an updated hair care video where I talk about just how I apply products and how I really achieve a silky press on natural hair but today we're going to just focus on the hair dryer all right here we go So straight away, I can tell you that this took a little bit of time getting just this one section dry. So let's let's go back in with this. up my hair with the um, Dyson dryer <laughs> I feel like I'm just being a traitor like I came on to review the Conair dryer and then it's like I'm gonna finish my hair with the Dyson but y'all I'm all about being sincere and honest with you guys and as I try products if they just don't check off all of the boxes I'm not going to promote and push products on you that are not suiting my fancy now just because it doesn't suit my fancy doesn't mean it's a bad product i am not ever into bashing brands or products it just didn't meet my expectations and i have pretty high expectations being that i own a dyson okay <laughs>
let's go over the pros for this Infinity Pro by Conair. In terms of the aesthetics, like guys, this is giving major chic vibes. I love the look of this dryer. I love the color. Um, I would love to see it in black and maybe a dark gray or a light gray, okay? Or even white. But for starters, I think this peach color is really, really nice. Um, Another pro is the price point. I'll link this down below in case you're interested, but if you are starting out new and you don't have the money to invest in a Dyson, this is a really good entry dryer in my opinion. If you are maybe choosing to gift this to your daughter who's a lot younger and you don't wanna invest in the Dyson, which is at a much higher price point, perfect, perfect, perfect entry level blow dryer in my opinion now let's take a look at some of the negatives negatives i had a really hard time getting this on the comb attachment but once it's on it's on so that is a pro that i didn't think to mention the comb attachment does stay on so we'll add that to the to the pros so we got three pros it looks great the price point is amazing and the comb attachment once you get it on it stays on but I also put this on my negatives because it took a little while for me to pop on. I may be a little bit weak, so don't judge me. <laughs> but it took a little bit of a, uh, some. it took a little struggle, okay, to snap on. But it didn't go flying across the room. I didn't have any issues at all with the comb attachment coming off. So that's a good thing. But it was just a little bit of a negative for me getting it on and off popping off pretty good now but getting it on was a little bit of a struggle in comparison to the Dyson the next negative that was really really nerve-wracking for me was my hair kept getting tangled and it's due to this you guys see the little metal bar in there inside of the comb attachment my hair kept getting tangled in the metal bar you guys it was like so annoying and with my hair getting tangled that's slowing down my my blow drying process now if you've got shorter hair this bar may not be an issue um, I'm not quite sure why the bar is there what it does I'm sure there's some rhyme and reason for why Conair decided to put the bar there but for me it it really it, it slowed down the process of blow drying because my hair got tangled Another negative, a big negative for me, this dryer was just not efficient enough to get the job done. It took quite a while for me to get one section of my hair dry. As you guys saw in the footage, I actually stopped blow drying my hair with the Infinity Pro Con Air and finished up with the Dyson. <laughs> for me, it's all about getting my hair done i have my head to do i have our youngest daughter's head to do my oldest daughter is now styling her on hair hallelujah but listen they say time is money and i'm like so i need to be getting done with my hair in a timely manner and this just didn't serve the way i needed for it to serve in terms of efficiency um however like i said good entry level blow dryer amazing price point really sleek design i can't speak to i guess the longevity of it because i just got my hands on this to test out but however the dyson supersonic i absolutely love this dryer but let's get into the pros and the cons the pros this dryer is the business it delivers it is very efficient in terms of getting your hair dry in very little time I the very first time I used it was blown out of the water at how quickly it got my hair dry and when I say dry I mean like completely dry a lot of blow dryers will get your hair dry but you can really tell that your hair is still holding a little bit of moisture and water this hair dryer gets your hair in my opinion 99.999% dry okay and if you go a little longer 100% dry this dryer is the business it delivers it is very efficient okay said that another pro 
is this comb attachment, the ease of putting it on and taking it off. It simply snaps on with a magnetic um, closure attachment, boom. It's on, it's off. It never flies off, it never comes off. It is really, really nice. All right, I don't use any of the other attachments, so I'm not gonna even try to review them. I don't use the diffuser, I don't use the concentrator. I am a pick girly. Give me a pick for my blow dryers and we're good to go because I never wear my hair curly. I'll get into that in another video in terms of why I feel like it is really beneficial if you're natural to blow dry your hair. Contrary to popular belief in terms of heat damage and messing up your curl pattern and ruining your hair, I found that blowing my hair out keeps it healthy, helps it grow faster, and it's just amazing. It's amazing and I don't spend a lot of time doing my hair. Now, let's look at the negatives. And the major con of this dryer is the price point. This blow dryer is gonna take a little bit of your, your paycheck, okay? Unless you just got some big paychecks, which I don't. I had to say for this. <laughs> Was it worth it in my opinion? Absolutely. I always tell people when they ask me about my Nespresso machine in the kitchen, if you give up Starbucks and you make your own coffees, you can invest in an espresso machine that costs a nice little chunk of change because you're paying Starbucks, what, $5 a day? You've paid for a machine over time. Same deal with the blow dryer. How much does it cost to go to the salon? Maybe 80 to $100 a pop for a, what, wash, press, and trim, okay? You're gonna pay for this blow dryer within two, three trips to the salon. So if you're willing to invest in doing your own hair at home, I think this is, the price point should not even be an issue. Uh, just save up for it and, and go for it. So for those of you who are in community here that have messaged me over the years and said, Re, I finally got the Dyson or I just got the Dyson. Some of you guys just got it for holiday. I wanna say, I think your money is well spent. Don't be fooled by all of these, I guess, other dryers that are coming to market. I think they are pretty exceptional, but I haven't met a dryer yet that stands up against the Dyson. I just haven't. That is my honest opinion and review. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you have either the Dyson or the Infinity Pro, or if you're thinking about getting one of the two of these dryers. Again, I'll link them both down below just in case you're interested so that you can see the price points and read a little bit more of the description and decide which dryer will be best for you. As always, thanks so much for watching and being a part of our community. Make your day beautiful, the choice is yours, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.